guys was wondering, like, you know, can you do a, like, a little tips and tricks video for Ghost Recon Wildlands? So that's what we're doing here today, and uh, I guess I'll talk about it, all right? So this is just off the top of my head because I'm quite familiar with the game, and, you know, to give you kind of a good direction for someone who's new to the game, um, coming from, maybe not coming from Breakpoint, um, maybe you're just new to Ghost Recon, or this is your first time playing Wildlands in a few years, and, you know, you want to kind of catch yourself back up. Maybe you forgot a few things. Well, let's just uh, clarify a few things. So once you make your profile, obviously you create your character, whatever you got to do, um, just start working through those missions. That's the first thing you need to do is focus on those missions and let those unlocks come, let those things come in. All right. And you want to get those skill points built up because you will unlock things for your character. All right. You want to really just work towards getting those skill points because ultimately what you want to do is reach level 30 because that's when tier one mode gets unlocked. And when you do have tier one mode um, turned on, then you can really start to upgrade your weapons uh, and really get the most out of them, really increase their damage. But in terms of uh, ranking up, though, I think that's your main thing here, right? If you're new to Wildlands, you're just starting out, really focus on those missions. They will give you the most XP, especially later on in the campaign. When you start reaching out those later provinces, you'll get crazy amounts, boatloads of, of stuff and, and resources for the, from those missions. And that'll ultimately help, again, with you working up on that skill tree, getting those unlocks, getting the ability to call in airstrikes, getting the ability to call in rebel support. So these are things that you're going to want to work towards um, when you when you do start out in Wildlands. All right? And that's ultimately where you want to end up. So just keep playing those missions, keep unlocking things, keep exploring, keep picking up every single type of resource that you come across. So if you come across like a convoy, hit it, take those resources. If you come across like a canister, you need to tag and mark, um, then do it, man. Just do it. Don't ignore those things. All right. And just pick up anything that's new, anything that's kind of on the HUD. And that's another thing, guys. Now that I brought up HUD, keep your HUD on when you start out. All right. It's best to just have those HUD elements on. And then you can kind of, once you familiarize yourself with the game and kind of get your handle of it and you get your grips of it, then you can go and you can kind of manipulate and tweak that HUD in the in the, in the settings and those options um, that are afforded to you, all right? So you can go into the menu and you can take off some HUD elements. So say you have like your sync shot shown, right? And you don't want to show that and say you don't want to see that, you can turn it off. And again, guys, when you start to work through this game, man, when you're a new player and you do follow what I'm telling you, you, you play those missions, you unlock these things, you start to familiar, you familiarize yourself with the game, you unlock to your one mode, then that's when you can really start to expand and kind of shift the way you play. So maybe you are playing heavily with HUD because you're trying to get get used to the game still. But once you reach that point, you can turn all that off. You can really immerse yourself in this like very limited to practically zero HUD actually, if you really want to. Um, and you can turn up that difficulty of the enemies. You can turn it up to extreme. And again, really kind of soak in that that that, that difficulty that that Wildlands provides you. Okay, because it really does provide you um, quite a solid difficulty level and uh, it's a pretty fun game man. once you get into it it's a, it's a real fun game so those are my tips and tricks I guess it's a tips and tricks I don't know if, if there's any really any tricks really um, I guess my tricks would be again to just keep ranking up that skill tree fully unlock everything man work towards that campaign and then get all those unlocks and just have a good time man and then once again you go you open up tier one mode I guess a little trick with tier one mode is, is once you get it um, again it increases the difficulty it makes you it makes the enemies fire. a lot fire. more brutal fire. a lot more actually um, it, almost to the point where it's a little stupid and annoying so once you kind of <laughs> once you rank a few levels in um to your tier one you might eventually just stop using it because it gets to the point where it's real real hard but i mean again just work through those missions unlock as much things as you can and ultimately it will make you a better soldier dude it'll make you a better ghost when you're playing because you'll have all these options all these different things uh, that you didn't have when you started out and then uh, you can have fun with those things man that's where your tactical creative freedom comes to life comes to fruition even more so because you'll be familiar You'll have that HUD turned off. You'll know which targets are marked because you're paying attention as you're playing because you're on extreme because you're on tier one because those enemies are difficult and because you're utilizing all the tools as a ghost that you have afforded to you. You will have a good time. And that's really all there is to it, man. S experiment with that HUD. Experiment with changing those difficulties. Play through those missions. And that's really it, man. And really kind of lean in on your squad, guys. Try, try, and try and play a little bit with your squad. I know the game doesn't really want you to kind of use squads like too well because it doesn't give you the best squad control but now that now that they're there um use them all right use them to set up kind of takedowns on on convoys and whatnot all right you can get some real tactical creative um fun times with your squad even yeah. enabled and then again another trick and tip here really um is to play co-op find some friends find someone to play with join our discord if you have to find someone uh, we've got plenty of people who are constantly looking to play with people so i mean just just open your mind a little bit talk to strangers get to know some people and you know you'll have a good time man you'll have to have some fun times playing and you won't be alone 
own, you know? And then I, actually, if you really want to get an even a better head start as a new player, if you do link up with a friend, link up with someone who's later in the game, link up with someone who's played this game so much, who has those things unlocked, who has that knowledge that they can share with you firsthand in those co-op modes, working together with you. And you guys, ultimately, that's where this game shines. And I've said it before when I talk about Wildlands in co-op, that's where this game shines, because that's what it was kind of built to be. So dip into that co-op, dip into your, your squad mates. If you don't have a friend to play with, join our Discord if you do want to look for a friend, but that's completely optional. That's really all there is to it with Wildlands. Um, once you kind of wrap your head around it fairly easily, fairly quickly, within a week, guys, within a week or two, within a few days, actually, of starting Wildlands, you'll kind of wrap your head around it. You're going to focus on taking down those targets, taking down those heads of those provinces, and ultimately working towards finishing the mission, getting all those unlocks, and having that that freedom and that affordability to, to change up how you approach certain missions and stuff. So say you want to play a full fucking thing, just going full stealth, you can do that, and then you can replay them going into some heavy gunfights and whatnot, all right? So there's a lot of options there in Wildlands to really kind of just have your imagination run rampant, and uh, that's really it for me here today, all right? So I hope this video did help uh, the few of you who are probably new to the game in 2022 and were kind of looking for someone to kind of guide them in a sense. I hope I kind of gave you a direction here, and my direction ultimately, guys, is to just do it, man. Go play the game, unlock those things, and don't think too heavily into it, all right? Because once you do unlock some of those things, I'm telling you the Just game will work. really start to open up and your mind will be will be blown all right but one more thing guys I totally forgot too is that with the tier one thing guys with the tier one mode you start that to unlock these Wait points and you can boss. apply these points to the stupid crates that they added you're gonna purchase those crates for free because you're using the in-game currency that you've acquired playing tier one mode and uh, you'll have those you'll have those crates to unlock eventually okay and with those crates that's where you can unlock kind of like stupid things like emotes which hopefully you don't get guys I'm praying you don't get any fucking emotes when you open up your stupid crates but hopefully you get things like nods and all those things that are locked in those crates that are all the cool bits and that's also one thing that's frustrating with wildlands all right it's not frustrating enough for it to not be a good game to play but it's enough where it really is aggravating so many years later all right it's the one thing that has not aged well is those damn crates so a lot of those cool unlocks you might see me using or even someone else using everyone's kind of got a mixed bag setup when they play wildlands unless you want to spend the extra bucks there in the store and try to you know unlock things maybe go for the seasons pass i do highly recommend you check out the dlcs for wildlands they're pretty good um do not play narco road do not purchase narco road i'm telling you right now if you are a new player to wildlands and you're looking to play something else after you've done the campaign you do not play narco road unless it's free unless you've been gifted it by someone you play narco road but you just turn your brain off all right you take you open up your head you take your brain out of your head and you put it down on the side and then you play narco road because narco road is everything <laughs> <laughs> just don't don't play it man just don't play it all right just don't do it okay and just have fun man all right and if you watch this video to the end because i was blabbing on a lot i hope you did enjoy and as always guys thank you for watching and take it easy rally on me copy that